growing up, I had said I wanted to be one of three things, a marathon runner, a comedian, or a Catholic priest. And so here, here I am beginning my journey. I'm Caleb Dushek, and my vocation story begins like any other. After I was born in Worthington, Minnesota, my mom and dad took me up to St. John the Pomacene Catholic Church in Pesic, North Dakota, and had me baptized. That was also the church where they were married at six years earlier. Shortly after, they moved down to Minnesota, and it was a different state, but not entirely different area or kind of atmosphere. It was a small rural area. And they were kind of setting out a far way away from home, from the Pisic area, from the Grafton area. Um, but they wanted to follow a job, and they decided to raise all of us kids down there. And there's four of us total, including me. I have two older siblings and a younger one. And most of our time growing up was spent in Westbrook, Minnesota, until 2012, when we would move back to Fargo. Um, in Westbrook, we had a good solid foundation with religious ed and anything that we learned there was strengthened or it was built upon at home by our mom and dad, whether through word or deed. Um, they would pray with us at night and we would always see them um, make a big sacrifice of their needs or their wants over our needs. Um, just some examples would be that they spent a lot of years in and a lot of energy trying to teach us music and put us through violin classes because they wanted us to learn something really well and learn how to do it well as well. And, you know, another example of sacrifice would be that being six hours from home, every Christmas and every Easter, they would drive the whole distance, the whole six hours, um, whether it was raining or, or it was a blizzard or even if it was a bright day, they would go because they knew that they didn't want us to grow up and not know our grandparents. And the more and more I look back on that, I realize what a gift it is knowing who my grandparents are. So things in Westbrook were just normal like any other town. Um, its own sufferings, its own trials, you know, its own joys. Um, but our mom and dad always brought us to Mass every Sunday. And even after a long, tiring week, seeing them go impressed upon the importance to us and we knew it was something significant and the older we got and the more understanding we had um, the more that we saw there was to the faith. I started thinking about the priesthood just a little bit as a kid in passing um, and I wouldn't really think about it until a long time later towards the end of high school really till the beginning of my college days. Um, my, my parents told me that growing up I had said I wanted to be one of three things a marathon runner, a comedian, or a Catholic priest. And so here, here I am beginning my journey. Um, but I remember one time, specifically in religious ed class, we saw a video about priests, different portraits, you know, one running to the side of the road to give last rites to someone who, who was dying in a car accident or another one bringing communion to the sick. And then I remember very clearly there was a priest in military gear and he was running towards a dying troop on the battlefield, and I remember wanting to be a military chaplain. Um, but that was just when I was a kid and didn't think anything of it um, until later in high school. Um, really what I wanted to do since, as I kind of got older and started looking at, you know, something that would really make me happy, it kind of happened by chance. I was raising money for a band and choir trip, and there was a vineyard just a few miles away from Westbrook called Painted Prairie Vineyards. And we just had to pick grapes for the day. It was nothing too, um, too specific. Just pick the grapes, put them in baskets. But I remember there just falling in love with that and, and wanting to have that, wanting to, to farm and do that and make wine someday and work with my hands. And I had that all the way up until college. I had that desire to do that. Kind of fast forwarding, so when we moved, kind of near about 2012, my older sister, Katie, she was graduating. And also at the time, it just happened that my dad was offered a better job opportunity in Fargo. And it was kind of, you know, another offer. He had turned it down a few times because we were pretty well rooted in Westbrook. Um, 
it was beginning to feel like home, you know, and we knew so many people, so many great families, so many great friends. Um, but after a lot of prayer and discussion, my mom and dad figured it'd be best to move. Um, but seeing as they wanted Katie to finish graduation, um, what my dad did was he took the job because he couldn't, he couldn't wait on it. It was time specific. And so he would drive to Fargo every weekend or every, at the end of every week, every Sunday. And then he would come back every Friday at the end of the work week. And he did that for two years, back and forth, four hours one way, four hours the other. And that stands out in my mind clearly. Um, just the amount of love my dad had for our family and the amount of sacrifice he does. And it's specifically when I look at my mom and dad together, just all the sacrifice that they did. And especially when I was going into high school and later college, then I started thinking more about you know, what God wanted me to do and less about what I wanted to do. Um, more about, you know, how I could live for others and live for God and less about, you know, living for myself. And I figured the vineyard thing, I could still do that. I could, I figured, you know, I can make, or I can grow grapes. I can make wine for the church, you know, and I can make some money on the side if I can't make enough to raise a family and get married. So after... After Shanley, then I ended up going to NDSU, and it was a good year there. They had a good program, um, but I still wasn't too satisfied. I was hungering for more. And as my younger sister, Abby, was applying for college because she was going to be going the year after, all this Catholic mail came in from Catholic schools, and she was deciding on you, Mary, in the end. And after giving it some prayer, whatnot and looking at the different schools, I eventually came to U Mary. And throughout my time there, I was, you know, reading better things, you know, learning about things about the faith I hadn't learned before. And just learning more and more about what it means to follow God. And a lot of that I had kind of experienced seeing my parents follow God and the sacrifice that they had, you know, done for all of us kids. But at the same time, it was kind of building and building and building upon it. And kind of my journey from there to here, if I could think about it, would be that God has slowly been working on me and working on my family and the people around me and that, you know, every little bit, he just adds and adds. Towards the end of my Mary year, I was kind of thinking about my own vocation and, and how to follow God and praying on it and priesthood kept coming up. And um, I think it started to appeal to me more and more because when I looked at the, the vineyard idea that I had that I wanted to work on a vineyard and make wine, it seemed like God didn't want me to do that as far as the, the manual labor part of it, but that it wasn't totally gone at all either. It was maybe something like a vineyard of souls we're working in Christ's vineyard here on earth among the people and, and preaching the gospel. And I think partly how God has brought me to this point is very patiently, very slowly. And I think when I think about the sacrifices my mom and dad made, so for example, teaching us violin, they weren't just teaching us music, um, but they were teaching us patience or perseverance, you know, fortitude, hope. And maybe that's why the vineyard appealed to me too, because it was something patient. You know, you needed hope um, and trust in the Lord for the crops to grow or for the grapes to pull through. But even then, those two put together leading up, you know, to the priesthood, just perseverance and fortitude and courage. And so I think all this that has happened up till now has been God just bringing me slowly here until a point that I can actually look back and say that God was leading me the whole time when I didn't think he was.